what's going on everybody uh look it's been a while since i've done one of these on the road uh, i'm going to be increasing my mileage for work yes it's raining by the way uh heading to the post office as usual in the in the mornings kind of what i do um wanted to jump on and talk about sports i haven't done sports in a while so i figured i would uh, get, jump in here and Get into the mix considering the uh, you know i talked i teased it a little bit on facebook uh tapped out wrestling podcast tapped out tapped out podcast network i'm sorry on facebook check us out give us a follow there at tapped out pod on all other forms of social media and if you like this kind of stuff on our youtube channel make sure you subscribe uh, i've dropped a bunch of stuff and i'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit on our youtube channel so i think you guys will be happy but college football playoff selection weekend so that's kind of what we had lots of chaos and look i'm a big fan of the chaos don't get me wrong i love the chaos i um wanted to touch base on that first and foremost i love all of the chaos that the losses brought but in the grand scheme of things it didn't really bring any one two and three all stay the same even with three with a loss four falls out usc with a loss uh, ohio state 10 alabama is just begging and pleading pleading their case to get in um, and everybody making arguments about who should be in and who should be out. First and foremost, Alabama, you didn't deserve to be in. Shut up and sit down with the, you know, at the, at the, at the uh, little kid's table with the rest of them. Uh, look, this is coming from a Georgia fan who a couple years ago I debated. I don't know that Georgia should have been involved, but that's a whole other tomato tomato argument. You know, people complain about the system and how, you know, like this, that, and the other. I have a really simple thing. I've even said it back in, like I said, I, I'm referencing the Georgia days uh, when this, when they didn't get, when they got in and didn't get in and blah, 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 blah. Arguments made simple, folks. Win all your games, they won't leave you out unless you're TCU or somebody else from a smaller conference. Then you're not getting in. That's a whole other, that's another argument, right? If Alabama, Alabama can only blame themselves for those two losses. Same goes for Tennessee, by the way. You want my take? If Tennessee doesn't lose that South Carolina game, which they had no business losing, they're in. Uh, Tennessee would have been in over Ohio State, in my opinion, uh, if they had not had that South Carolina loss. If they had handled South Carolina, they're in. So I guess the moral of the story there is real simple. When and you're in, loss, you, get, you don't get the right to complain that somebody else is deciding your future because you, you did not do what you needed to do to handle your own and control your own destiny. So, point number one. Uh, now let's get into, you know, do we want to talk about who and the whys and the hows? I mean, look, the selection committee is what it is. Um, then we'll get into like, hey, it's uh, it, should there be more teams? We're getting there. It, that's coming, folks. So look, I mean, they, they, they could have changed it faster, but they just didn't. So it, it's not gonna happen. Uh, now let's get into predictions. Uh, I'm a Georgia fan. I've said it from day one. Michigan handles Georgia, by the way. Uh, I had a conversation a little bit with Jeff Jarrett at uh, uh, WrestleCade, and we discussed, you know, who's going to get in their way. And I said, the only person I think that gets in Georgia's way is Georgia. And uh, I think Michigan handles Georgia, which is uh, heartbreaking. But I watched the, the game, and I actually think that Michigan can actually uh, take Georgia. Uh, I pray to... Um, so there's, you know, uh, but you got to get there, right? I think Georgia can handle Ohio State, although that uh, watching a, uh, that game against uh, LSU being able to throw all over the place makes me a little nervous. Ohio State can throw the ball in case you haven't mentioned it. I'm still going to say I think they get past it, but I do think Michigan is your national champions this year. Um, and that's no disrespect to uh, TCU. I just think Michigan's the team uh, that just can pound the rock. I think they're very similar in a way to Georgia, and I think that's kind of why they can handle them. Now let's go to part two. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Uh, the Coach Prime, you know, I, I don't even want to call it a controversy because I don't know that I would. Um, yes, he uh, took a job, uh, a better paying job, threefold probably. I haven't looked at the numbers, and I should have, uh, but it's at least twofold, uh, I would I would guess, uh, but it's probably going to be three. He's going to get some things. And then, the uh, you know, so there was just a, the, the pushback of him leaving, for one. Uh, and then now there's the pushback of the video that came out where basically he was telling the Colorado team that he took over, a lot of you might want to look at the portal. 
you're probably really not going to be playing, you know? So uh, my dilemma to that is, guess what, folks? He was just being honest with those kids. Because here's, the, here's my argument to it, by the way. If he doesn't say that to those kids and they stay, they could literally waste a year of eligibility if he puts them on the bench and never brings them off. At least he's being honest with them and giving the opportunity to say, hey, you, if you don't think you're good enough to start, you probably need to leave and go somewhere that you can start if you want to play. And I kind of admire that, to be honest with you. At least he was honest with those kids. Uh, he didn't walk in those kids' houses, and he didn't promise them that they were going to play for him. None of those kids he owes the, the, the loyalty to. Since the, and then we're going to get into the catch-22, right? I get it. Some people are going to come back and go like, oh, well, you know, but he left his team, and coaches leave the teams all the time. 100%. And with the transfer portal, so can the kids. Uh, I don't I, – I, there's a lot that I used to have sympathies for the kids – but now that they have the portal and they have NIL and those type of things, you're losing a lot of sympathies, uh, sympathies with me about coaches leaving and taking better paying jobs and this, that, and the other because the kid can leave too now at this point. So, sorry, those days have come and gone for us. So, so I would love to hear your takes. A, thoughts on the selections of college football playoff. Who should have gotten in, who shouldn't have gotten out, and all that kind of stuff. Two, uh, do you what's you know the flaws in the system itself? Are you happy eventually we're going to a bigger playoff? And then the thoughts on the the coach prime situation, how that all went down. What's your takes on all of that? Let us know at Tapped Out Pod, Tapped Out Pod at gmail.com. Social media, you can message us at, at Tapped Out Pod. Of course, you guys are familiar. But make sure, man, you're liking, subscribing the channel. I'm gonna get like I said, I'm gonna get back in the habit of doing these in the car that I'm picking up my miles a little bit here back at the job. A lot of more people are letting us come out and see them. So uh, the more miles will be on the, call, uh, on the car. So more time in front of the camera. So guys, appreciate you checking us out. Let us know again if you like the sports talk, the movie stuff that we're doing with MB Mooney, the Impact stuff with the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast uh, with Lewis over there covering Impact. Trying to get a little diversified up here a little bit. And we're going to make some changes here as we go along. We appreciate you guys and uh, we'll talk to you soon.